Nelson, the Educational Technology Consultant from Advanced Education. I'm working with a Hitachi interactive projector and a whiteboard, and in this video I'm going to show you the gallery. This is Starboard Software, and I'm going to open the gallery, which is the second tab down, and there are four different areas. The first area is what comes installed with the Starboard software. So there are many different categories here, biology, chemistry, math, music, phys ed. Let's look at the clip art. And in the clip art are many uh, different folders as well. So if we click on animals, for instance, we have some animals here, and I can bring out my fish. Now it pops into wherever it wants to go, but then you can move it around. There we go. The second category are favorites, and these are things that I've previously saved because I want to use them over and over again. I'm going to add a page. So from my menu, I'm going to the two pages with the drop-down menu arrow. Go New page and close that menu. And I'll bring out my grid that I saved before because I want to use it over and over. So there's my grid. Let's add another page. Two pages again, there we go, and close it. The third area I love, this is a web search and it's a safe web search, and I can type in anything that I want into this area here and search for it. So I think I'll search for planets this time. So I type in planets, click in the space, type planets. And it's gonna go out to the web and search. So you can see all the pictures that I found so far. Bring this one out. That one's a small one. Let's see what else we've got here. There's a great big one. Fills the whole screen. So I think that's a lovely thing that you'll get a lot of use out of. The last one is a box for interactive things. And there's not a lot in there right now. But what I want to show you is how to add your own things to the gallery. So I'm going to add a new page. And I'm going to open, I'll close that, I'm going to open a file that I've already got on my computer. And it's a JPEG, although it doesn't have to be a JPEG. And now I have a choice how big I want it to be, if I want to rotate it, etc. So we'll make it a bit smaller. These are the Badlands in Ontario. And now I want to add that picture to my favorites. So. I'm going to actually add the whole page. So I go to the document area. I'll close the menu so you can see. And you'll see my page there. And in the drop-down menu from the page, I can actually add it to favorites. So this is adding a whole page. And do I want it in favorites? Yes, OK, I do. OK. Now if we go to the gallery, we'll find that page in this one here in the favorites. So it's right here. Now, another thing we might want to do is add just the object itself. So I'm going to go back to my uh, gallery again. But first of all, let's add a page. And I'm just going to bring out something quick. So let's bring some food. I often use apples for games, so I'll bring the apple out. And I'm going to add just the apple this time to the gallery rather than the page. In the menu, You'll see there are lots of different um, choices here, but I want to add it to favorites. So this only adds the object, not the page. Add to favorites. OK. Now if we go back up to our area, you'll see the apple is now in our favorites. I hope you enjoy the gallery in Starboard. Thank you for watching.